welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing the long-awaited Dr. Brown's bottle and accessory review. <laughs> so I've been talking about this for like a while now, but I just haven't had the chance to sit down and talk about everything because I had to pull some of it out of storage as we are not using some of it. You guys will hear all about that in this video. So we're going to get right into it so I can tell you all the things we've tried and what we like and what we don't like and whatever. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to start off with just the standard bottles. So we currently are using the 8 ounce bottles because Colton drinks anywhere from 6 to 8 ounces every time he drinks a bottle. We did start off with the 4 ounce bottles. These came in really handy because they're tiny. Um, there are 2 ounce bottles. They're really, really small. We use those for um, maybe like a week or two. Those were kind of um, helpful for like little night feedings. Just we had an extra couple bottles. But we pretty much use the 4 ounce bottles for most of his like newborn stage so we have the I don't know what they actually call it like the original system or whatever we have the ones that have like the blue straw so the original system is the bottle with the blue straw thing the um, sort of white cream colored um, air vent thingy and then these thicker um, I don't know lids I guess you'd call it with the regular nipple so this all goes in here, screws on, and now it doesn't leak. Um, we love these. Colton never really had like an actual colic issue, so I don't know if these just prevented it completely or he just never had it. But we love these. He was always super easy to burp, which again, I'm going to attribute to these, so we love these. Um, I love the blue vent system the most, which is the original one. Um, this again is the 8 ounce bottle one. This is what the lids look like that pop onto these. They're um, white in color to match them. We've used every size nipple that they have. Um, one, two, three. He's on three. He'll, he'll use two sometimes now, but he usually uses a three. Um, and then we also even use the preemie nipple because when he was um, maybe like a month old, um, we were recommended by our doctor just for like a health issue for him to drink a little bit of water every day. And so we actually used the preemie nipple so that it didn't all come like flowing out because it wasn't thick like formula. Um, so the preemie nipple really helped out with that. So we love just the standard bottles. So this one <laughs> is the new one, the options bottle. And I only have one of these. I actually got this at um, Babies R Us in the States, if you guys don't know I'm from Canada. Um, and this was like one of those free with purchase things, like they do like, I don't know, spend $25 in stores and then you get um, like a free whatever. So when I was there it happened to be this free bottle. So this is the options bottle. The difference is that you can use the system, so like the whole system with like the straw thing and the lid and everything, or you can take this, the straw thing out. I don't know what they actually call this thing. The vent, I think it's a vent. Um, you can take that out and actually use it like this um, without that. So this is a really great option if you, I don't know, these aren't all clean or you just find that they're not working for you, you still have a usable bottle. I am not the hugest fan of this. Oh, this is the little cap, it's clear. I'm not the hugest fan of this system. Um, I found this one leaked and I did do a little bit of research and some people also said that they found they leaked. I found, I find that this green thing is actually um, a lot harder to clean. It has a lot more um, like spots that you need to get the little brushes in to clean it. And so I just, I'm cleaning bottles a lot during the day and so having something that makes it a little harder for me to clean is kind of annoying. So I'm glad that I only had one of these. It's just, it was nice to try, but I would 100% recommend the original flow system rather than the options flow system. So one bottle that we didn't use, um, I don't remember where I got this. I think I might have bought it. I might have got it at like Marshalls or something for super cheap. This is like one of the, is this eight ounces too? This is an eight ounce bottle. It's like the wide neck one. Um, we just never used this because it didn't really fit in my diaper bag and um, this, the nipple that came with it, I think is a step one and so he outgrew that and I didn't want to go buy one nipple for one bottle so there's nothing wrong with this. It is the blue vent system so I would have liked it. Um, we just never used it but it's a great option if your kids like the thicker bottles so yeah. Um, 
I would obviously recommend this one as well because I'm sure that it works the same as the other ones. So something that I pretty much use every single day is the formula container. This is obviously by Dr. Brown's. Um, a lot of this all came in the starter kit. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a big kit. It's like $100. I think it's $100. My friend Sarah bought that for us. Hello, Sarah. I know she's watching. Um, yeah, so this came in that, in that set, uh, as did a few other things. Um, I love this. I pretty much use it every single day. It's really handy um, for night feedings because what I do is put the bottle, either put the water in the bottle and bring the water upstairs with this and then I can just dump it in or we use tap water anyways because our tap water is safe for drinking um, and I'll just fill up the bottle and dump this in the bottle. So I love this. It's great for travel too. This one has three containers. I know you can get ones that have four. Um, I just love this. I find the seal is like really um, hard or like it's, it's not like I don't know what the word would be whatever you guys know what I'm saying so it's like loud and you know it's like really good and sealed nothing ever comes out I've never had an issue with this I would 100% recommend the Dr. Brown's um, formula container even if you don't use Dr. Brown's bottles I really love this as for brushes again the brush came with the set I don't remember if this is the original one I know that I bought another one um, because the other one that I had was kind of getting like nasty. So I love the bottle. It has the little like sponge thing on the tip. So this is great for getting like really down inside here. Because these are so thin, you obviously can't get like your hand in there like some of the other bigger bottles. So I like that it has the like sponge tip. You know you can get right in there. The little bristly bits to get it all clean. And then what's really neat is on the bottom here, this is actually to clean um, a nipple out. So it'll, it'll fit right inside um, the nipple thing and you can like clean it all out in there. So you can make sure you get it really clean. It also comes with this little suction cup stand. So it kind of just sticks right in there and then you can stick it on your counter or whatever. So this is really great. And then this is one of my favorite things about Dr. Brown's bottles. So they actually give you the little like, I guess like a pipe cleaner, cleaner thing to clean out the little straw things. I don't know what they actually call it. I think they're called bends. Um, to like get all in there and actually clean it all out. I love that they actually include them. They don't make you pay extra for them. You can buy them separately. So we have like a million of these. Like even if you buy one bottle separately, like it comes with that. So I think that that's great of them to actually give it to you like as part of the bottle, not making you buy an extra one. So you definitely need these if you get the Dr. Brown's bottles. Okay, so the next three things are, I'll just get into it. So <laughs> they're bigger items. Um, one, two of them I purchased, um, and then one was a gift um, as part of that um, big box of stuff that my friend got me. So the one that's part of the big kit is the bottle warmer. Woo, the bottle warmer. So basically you put water in here, the water goes down in here or whatever, it warms up, warms the bottle up. This was great um, for when he was super young because I would pre-make the formula and either pour it into... Um, the bottles and put it in the fridge or I'll show you another product I'd put it in there and then you would pour it into the bottles um, It was really helpful for my fiance when he was doing like the night feedings and stuff before he went back to work um, Because then he wasn't trying to figure out how to make formula because he has like no idea <laughs> So this was super helpful um, but once Colton got older, we were told by a doctor that we didn't need to boil water anymore. That was the water is safe. We didn't need to do that. Um, I found it easier to, like I said, just use this to pour it in and shake the bottle up. So it kind of became like not necessary at a certain point. The product is great. It always worked great. This was super reliable. Um, it actually has like a timer. So we figured out like exactly how long, like let's say for like a four ounce bottle, how long you would need to warm it up so that it was at the temperature that he liked. So that was really neat. So this was a great product. I just found that we didn't need it for as long as I thought we would need it. Um, I'm glad that it came in like the kit that we got and I didn't have to buy it like separately. I maybe would have been a little more annoyed if I'd paid like a bunch of money for it, but it came with the bottles that we were already getting. So I would definitely recommend it if you're the type of person who likes to pre-make the formula or you're using like um, ready to serve maybe and you want to warm it up. But um, if you're just gonna like stick the formula into the bottle and shake it up, you probably don't really need it. But yeah, so that's the warmer. So next is the pitcher. Now, this is a little expensive. I believe here in Canada, I paid like 20 or $25 for this. For this little plastic pitcher. I did use it um, for a little while. Like I said, I would pre-make the formula. So I would 
do all the like stuff you're supposed to do boil the water um, let it cool mix the formula in in here and it's really neat so this lifts up and down and this helps get all the um, the chunks out and stuff or whatnot so it's a really cool product if you want to pre-make your formula but like I said I just found that not as convenient um, I didn't like at night having to like you know he's screaming in his crib when he's like a month old and I'm trying to like fiddle with this and warm bottles it just was not my thing so it's really neat if you're the type of person who wants to pre-make your formula I just decided that I was not honestly it's not necessary it's just not necessary you could buy even just like a pitcher and make it in that and like mix it up with a spoon <laughs> you really don't need this like fancy pitcher I just thought oh it's Dr. Brown's like I must need that to pour it in and whatever it's not necessary kind of a waste of $20 um, but if it's something you feel you need, you go for it. Okay, and then I have the Dr. Brown's Sterilizer. I was very fortunate, and this is actually the old model. I will, of course, link the new model down below, as I will link everything down below. This was the old model, and so I got it for extremely inexpensive. Hi, it's future Nicole. So I am sitting editing this video, and I realized that the camera completely cut me off. So what I do say is that I found this product not really useful for us. I would rather just wash Colton's bottles or find another way to sanitize it. And I will kind of get into that in this next clip. So what I do is fill our sink with super hot water and I soak Colton's bottles in that. And then I just empty the sink out, refill with hot water and wash them. That's how I do it. Um, if you had a dishwasher, which we do, but ours is broken. If you have a dishwasher, you can sanitize bottles in your dishwasher. You can sanitize bottles in boiling water. You can sanitize bottles in the microwave. There's so many other ways to do it. I just honestly don't think this is necessary. It's a little like fiddly to work with as well. You have to like open this all up and take all this stuff out. Um, you put water in the bottom and it heats up. It's really hot, which I get is the point of sanitizing, but it was, um, I feel like it almost gave me anxiety because I thought like, oh my God, like, is the bottle clean if I don't put it in the sanitizer? The bottle is clean if you're washing the bottle with soap and water and like, and, and hot water, you know what I mean? So if you're like a germaphobe and you think that you need a sanitizer, this is a really great one. It's super, like, it makes sense. And you open this up and all your little parts go up in here. It's really neat. But for me, it just was not necessary. Um, I would just find another way to sanitize them for, you know, the few months that I was comfortable sanitizing his bottles for. But full price, this would not be worth your money. But like I said, it is a good sanitizer if you are the type of person who wants to use one. Okay, and then I just want to talk about one more piece of the bottles. So this is um, one of the caps that you use when, for like travel. So what you do is what I do. So I fill up the bottle to however much water I put in his bottle. And I screw this on. And I stick it in the side pockets of our diaper bag. And then I just put all the little pieces into like a um, like a Ziploc bag or I have like little packing cubes that I put them in. Um, and then it keeps it all, you know, nice and together. But these are actually like, this is genius. There, I know there are a lot of like bottles that don't have this type of thing and I'm so glad they do. I find this so easy. Um, so I'm really glad that they have this kind of system to go on. So um, I think that this these two came, I have two of them. They came in the like kit that again, my friend bought me. But I know that they sell them separately. So if you had bought like um, one of the like newborn feeding kits or whatever, I don't think it comes in that. And I would recommend buying these. They're only a couple dollars. All right, and then last but not least is a product that I've tried, but Colton doesn't really understand yet. So I don't have a full review, but I do wanna let you know that it is an option. This also comes in that big kit. Um, this is the Dr. Brown's Sippy Cup. This holds six ounces. So it ha I like that it has the, um, the handles on the side um, because it's easier for him to learn how to hold it. He knows how to hold the bottle, but um, so everything just kind of screws on. I really like this tip here because it seems like to me um, a really thick rubber. So I don't think he'll be able to chew through it very easily. Um, and then it also of course has the lid to keep it all like, sand like clean and whatnot. So yeah, that is an option as well. Like I said, Colton isn't completely like into using sippy cups yet, but I'm sure once he is, we will be using this. I like that it's tiny too. So if we want to just give him like a little bit of something, we can do that. So 
that is an option as well. So that is my review of a whole bunch of Dr. Brown's products. Let me know down below if you guys like Dr. Brown's bottles and products or what brand of bottles and baby stuff you guys like to use. Um, if you like these kind of videos, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you are new. And be sure to hit that little bell notification. That'll let you guys know every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.